Okay, hi, second graders, you know the drill because we did goal setting yesterday for reading and a little writing too. If you wanted to do a writing goal, you could do that instead or in addition to, right? So next week is conference week. We're going to do a math goal too, all right? So today you're gonna to give me your math goal. I'm gonna share my screen because I have some more of those fun, they look kind of like picturey. These are all the different big, big, big ideas in math that we do in second grade, okay? So you can do so many of these by now. Oh my gosh, comparing three digit numbers, boom, you got it. Knowing where, which one's the ones, which ones are the tens, which ones are the hundreds, boom. You can do so many of these things, right? Identifying odd and even numbers, Okay, so I wanted to show a couple of things that we're going to really be working on, continue to be working on net from now until the end of the year. So maybe those um, will be things that you want to make as your goals. I don't know. Uh, this one I can add and subtract within a thousand. So using pictures, using all our different strategies for adding and subtracting like a number line or the pictures with skinnies and bits adding and subtracting three digit numbers, we're all getting better at the, that. So some of us can do that pretty well, but we're still improving and becoming more efficient and you, trying new strategies. So that's a good goal to keep working on um, adding and subtracting three digit numbers. Okay. Um, we are also, we haven't done super duper much with arrays. So we will be working on arrays. Um, that's sort of like the beginning of multiplication. So if you have th uh, four groups of three, you can go three plus three plus three plus three, and it's 12. So I can write an equation to match an array. We haven't done a super duper lot with that. So we'll be focusing more on that. Okay. Um, other things we are doing. So time and money, if you don't have those things down, those would be great goals to get that taken care of, okay? So that you can um, solve money problems using dollars, quarters, dimes, nickels, and pennies, tell time to the nearest five minutes. Some of you are really have down like the hour and the half hour, but you're, and maybe 15 minutes, but we're still working on um, like when it's, 1235 or 1255 right so time to the nearest five minutes um we're, we will also we will also be doing a bunch with geometry and some fraction things so geometry is more with shapes all right and then we will also be doing some fractions so halves thirds quarters we're, we'll continue doing all of this some more measurement but those are some big things that we're focusing on. All right, so we're, all, we're gonna make a smart goal and I want you to send me a video about your goal, okay, for math. How do you want to improve in math? Do you want to um, tell time within five minutes, learn how to tell time within five minutes? Do you want to um, learn more about arrays? Do you want to uh, get, more more efficient with solving three digit addition and subtraction problems? What do you wanna do? And do you want to learn how to do that or work on that by the end of the school year or by the start of third grade, okay? So I want to, an example might be, I want to learn to tell time to the nearest five minutes by the end of second grade. So I will, and then you have to figure out what is it that you're gonna do to get to, to meet your goal? Are you going to um, go on that quiz.org and practice um, two times a week? Are you going to ask your family to help you practice two times a week? Are you going to come to drop in time and ask me to help you practice? Uh, are you going to try to do a better job completing every math assignment? I don't know. So I wanna hear from you. What do you want to do? When do you wanna do it by? And what is what action are you gonna take that will help you reach that goal? Okay. All right. Can't wait to hear.